Hello everyone, this is Excalibur. How are you doing? You doing alright today? It's a... Uh, it's been an okay day for me. Yeah, um... Sorry that I haven't been more prolific with the Oblivion playthrough. Um, it was majorly interrupted by several things at the same time, but that's not what today is about. It's going to be what's later, but today I wanted to do a vlog. Fun! So yeah, I wanted to talk about M-rated games. You see that? It's an M-rated game! Rage! It's Rage. It's Rage. Uh, no, no, there's... Hey, lighting, malfunction, Fallout 3, um, Skyrim, Dragon's Dogma, Dragon Age 2, there's all sorts of rated M games. Now, used to, back in the olden days, there wasn't really much room for rated M. I mean, you know, games were for kids, right? Um, even war games! There was a war game published in the 1980s? I forgot what the exact date. It was a war game! Like, with shooting people! Shooting people! Rated E for everyone. Um, because it was educational. Because, you know, it taught people about war, the war at that time and everything. Yeah! It was weird. It was a weird and wondrous time when, you know, violence in games wasn't that crazy. And I'm not saying that all violence. No, let me, wait, let me, hold up, let me clarify that real quick. Dishonored. Dishonored. Violent. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Rated M. Yes. Great. Perfect. Wonderful it is mm, mm, mm. magnissimo. Now, what would have happened though if Portal would have been rated? I can tell you, it would have been a lot worse. Oh, why is that? Because Portal is not Deadpool. The whole point of Portal, even though it has yes, dark things, and a lot of the things it describes can dark and bleak. It's not really... It's cartoony. It's it's basically a cartoon. It's ba it is made for kids. I'm sorry. It's a largely the building blocks material. Now, what am I trying to say here? What I'm trying to say is I'm trying to put out Theory. A game theory. Oh boy, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to copy anybody. I'm just telling you a story, and that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tell you about a particular day uh, in my lifetime. A particular day when a certain school called Columbine was attacked by some of its own students. A very sad, horrible time. A time that it was really... It wasn't the first time ever that a school shooting happened, but it was the biggest one of my lifetime. Like, even a lot of the ones now, it's like, it's old news. Now, I'm not saying it to belittle any of the other shootings whatsoever. Don't ban me. Don't hate. I mean, if you want to, you can leave a comment. Don't hate me and dislike me or whatever, but I'm just saying that people treated it a lot differently than, than they're treating a lot of school shootings now. And that's not to say that it was worse. It, was, it wasn't really worse then. Um, in fact, a lot of the school shootings that I have right now are a lot more deaths involved, a lot more injuries and stuff like that. But they treated it with a lot more hype, a lot, a lot bigger. They treated it a lot bigger. But, um, yeah. And the culprit, 
the culprits were kind of on the sidelines of the media. They were just kind of mentioned as students, but what caused these students to do this thing? And they went straight to video games. Boom. The video games. Um, not the, pet, not the parents, not from the day themselves, really, but boom, video games. And, um, it hurt. It didn't, I mean, it didn't hurt me. It hurt me indirectly, but it hurt video game sales a lot because parents took it seriously. Parents kind of drew back away from video games for their kids and told them to play outside and all this other stuff. I remember um, when my parents, you know, limited my video game play to about an hour a week. Um, just because after that, just because of that. And, you know, a lot, of, you might, again, I'm old. <laughs> I, I'm old, so I remember this kind of thing. But um, it really changed the way video games were made. It made it to where like games like Halo. Do I have Halo? Halo would have been. I didn't bring. I have Halo, but it's not here right now. Where games like Halo would have been rated T for teen. I mean, look at GoldenEye, the, the Double Seven GoldenEye, rated T for teen with like innuendos and sexual tension and violence and shooting people in the crotch and rated T for teen. But it was, you know, it was kind of sought for. You wanted it to be younger audience. You wanted to mark or to push your rating to younger audiences because that's where the money was. And then Columbine happened and everyone went the opposite way. Everyone was like, we gotta put some F-bombs in here. We gotta add more blood. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. To get that M rating, even though this is not a rated M game. Um, Dishonored? Everything about Dishonored is uh, mature. And it should be for Dishonored. Dishonored is that type of story. It's dark, it's gritty, it's real. What I mean by real, it is fairy tale, but I'm talking about like it deals with real human nature. It deals with dark stuff. Portal? Um. Uh, yeah. As, as dark as the humor might get, it's a, it's a lighthearted fun game. It really is. Sorry. But that's the thing. They rated it E10, which was not even a rating. You see that? You see it? Yeah, ow. Okay, wait. No, never mind. It's there, it's there. That wasn't even a thing. E10, when I was a kid. It wasn't even a thing. But it's like, it's like they're trying to push for the more and more. They're trying to push more and more. Oh, you're old enough for this now. Oh, you're old enough for this now. Go further, further. Or was it the other way? I don't remember. Um, Dragon's Dogma. Um, I could go either way on Dragon's Dogma. Really. But it's like, okay, it's like Oblivion. I'm playing Oblivion right now. It is rated M. It is only rated M. Seriously, I believe, because of two scenes. And one word. Yeah. And, um... I mean... Do I have... Just had the box for it. Sexual themes. Rated M for blood and gore. Okay. The blood... That's blood. Gore is talking about the zombies. And that one um, scene in Dark Brotherhood scenario. The one. Uh, language? There's like one word throughout the entire game that would be rated M for language. This would be rated M. Like, it's, that word is also in a lot of rated team games, so never mind. Sexual themes? 
sexual themes, like what? There's one quest that, you know, is kind of there. No, it's ready to eat. This game, use of alcohol. Yeah, and violence, which, again, Alan Wake can be rated T for Teen, and it is. There should be no reason why it would, it would be rated Teen, but they put in a couple of things. It's just threw in a couple of things, put a long list of things that it really wasn't rated M for, and pushed it to be a rated M game. Whereas I know a lot of teens that would be per perfectly fine playing it, younger teens, that it was like, you know what, don't do the Dark Brotherhood story because uh, you might be a little young until my younger teens. But, um, you know, if it wasn't for the law of the land, if it wasn't for, um, well, you get, you get my message here. Gamers, call out. The game makers put the rated M where it belongs, and you know what? If if a game is supposed to be rated teen for teen, if, then let the teens play it. Don't just throw stuff in there, developers. Don't just add stuff just for the sake of adding it in there so that you can up your rating. I know you do it. Not all of you. Not all of you. Alan Wake. Great. Um, who else? Who else? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of good ready team games out there, but like, let's be honest, most great games are rated M most. Um, let's, let's just, you know, be straight here. But a lot of those games, other than like a few things, it would be like totally fine for teenagers to play. And that's sad. Because great stories should be enjoyed by as many people as it, as it can be. And it's one thing if the story, like Dishonored, is that mature of a game. At its core, at its heart of hearts then, you know, that story is made to be played as a mature game. But if you're just taking Halo and slapping an M sticker on it for... For what? What? What is... What is Halo rated M for? Let's be honest here. I mean... Ocarina of Time, man! That's not rated M. Ocarina of Time's not rated M. And you know what scene, if you've played Ocarina of Time, you know what scene I'm talking about. You know what scene I'm talking about? Se sexual themes? An old dude hits on you. Talking about his business and stuff, I mean, and all the ladies who are flirting with you and you want to, um, want you to find their treasure. But, you know, this, <laughs> no, 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 it's rated E for everyone, I think. But it's not rated M. And yet Halo, no, Halo, that gets the M rating. Because it's trying to pander to that demographic. It's the demographic of, let's be honest, teenage boys who want to be mature. Let's be honest, okay? Okay, people who made Halo, you slapped the M rating on there for the sole reason that you wanted the immature demographic you wanted to mature. Same, same thing with, um, well, let's, okay, Oblivion and, and Skyrim. There's like this little bitty nuggets of rated M stuff. Just... Now that's different. <laughs> um, that's majorly different than you know Fallout Three or Rage. 
Ah, my brightness is messing up. All right, it's different than those two games. And why do I say that? How can I judge? And, uh, you know, the game developers not, right? Well, it's... I really don't. What I'm judging is the story. I'm not judging... You know, it's like... Yeah, the level of violence. Yeah, the scares. Yeah, everything like that. But, um... You judge... I'm judging based on what the game could have been. Except for Halo. It is rated T for T. I don't care what the developers say. But like, you know, Fallout 3, that is what you're getting. Period. End of story. Mature story. You get what I'm trying to say, guys, don't you? You can disagree. You can agree. Leave a comment if you disagree. Leave a, leave a comment if you agree. Just, uh, you know, if you like the video, like it. If you didn't, go ahead and dislike it. If you want to look at more Oblivion in the future, I've only have two videos up. My brightness levels are getting nice. And I will see you all in the next one. Salut! Did you like that? Salut! I'm gonna stick with that for now.